the major phone launch if iFixit didn't tear the thing apart to show us what's inside. But with the Samsung Galaxy Fold, the old iFixit ritual has become something of a public service. Samsung halted the Fold's original April launch after early reviewers started noticing some consistent and quite troubling durability issues. And Samsung made iFixit take down its original video, perhaps because it was really just that damning. Now, Samsung has released the phone, for real this time, and once again, iFixit is back at it with another teardown to see what's what. For starters, it's now clear that despite its best efforts, Samsung probably wasn't able to fully prevent debris from entering around the hinges. Even after covering a gap in the bezel and plastering the hinges with tape, there's still a chance stuff can find its way in there. All told, there are just too many moving pieces. This teardown comes on the heels of a torture test from CNET last week in which the team used a folding machine to test Samsung's claim that the device can be folded 200,000 times over a roughly five-year time period. At least in CNET's test, the device only made it through around 119,000 folds. The kicker to all this, iFixit's teardown suggests the fold is not very repair-friendly. Although many components are modular and can be replaced individually, the fragile display and its mechanics are, quote, likely to wear down, according to iFixit. Replacements for the heavily glued down batteries are difficult too, not to mention the glass. Suffice to say, if you buy this nearly $2,000 phone, you are doing so at your own risk. That's all she wrote today, and remember, if you like what you heard, remember to like and subscribe. Gently.